it's not my best look. Hello, what is up, familia? Something within me just thought it would be fun for me to document what's going on in my life right now. By the way, if you've never seen one of my videos before, hi, my name is Greta. I am a user experience designer and content creator. I live here in New York City. I've been living here for almost two years now, which is insane. Let me catch you up on the 411 of Greta's life. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am moving again. This is going to be my third move. So basically my third apartment in New York in two years. I know, I know. But to give you basically a lowdown of the situation, my first apartment I actually really loved. I was living with my one of my best friends. I was living with her and it was amazing. I didn't love the location, but it was near the train. It was a really good first apartment, but I thought I was ready. I felt like I was ready to live alone. And then I moved to this tiny, tiny studio that I'm in right now. I've lived here for a full year. So technically this is gonna be my third apartment technically in three years. But yes, my lease is up here and I was debating, I was going back and forth if I wanted to renew honestly and I don't love the situation because it's a not just because it's an old building the next apartment I'm moving to is an older building because I have a budget and when you have kind of a budget in New York you probably need to go with an older building but the floors are super creaky and it creates problems with neighbors. I'm really sad to be moving from this location. I love the location, I love the lighting. The biggest reason I'm moving is because of the kitchen. I basically don't really have a kitchen. In New York, they do this funny thing where they will squeeze some kind of burner situation, like a stove top, in a room and call it an apartment. I only have two burners and I don't have an oven. Honestly, when I moved in and when I toured the place, I really thought it was fine. I was like, you know what? But I'm one person. I don't cook for several people. I don't need much space. I'll be totally fine. I underestimated how much a kitchen matters to me. And this is what happens. You learn, you live and you learn, you live in different places. You find things that you hate. You find things that you love and you find things that are your non-negotiables and you just learn over time. I really went back and forth. I was like, is it worth spending all the money to move again? Is it worth, you know, the stress? It's very stressful to move here. At the end of the day, I thought it was worth it. I was becoming very unhappy living here. I found something so last minute and I toured it. This place had a lot of applications and because I was one of the first ones to tour it and I fit the requirements, the broker, you know, she and I worked really well together and it ended up happening. So I've signed the lease. I don't get the keys yet. They like to kind of wait until, you know, everything is completely settled, but I move in two days. I move on Thursday. Today's Tuesday. So I'm very stressed. I'm very stressed. It's okay. We're gonna be fine. The other crazy insane thing about this whole situation is that I'm moving alone. My move is during the day. So basically I don't want to ask people to take off work. I am stubborn in that way because you know, my mom is saying, just get a friend to help you get a friend to help you. But my friends work full time and I just can't do that. But I'll be fine. I know I'll be fine. You may be looking around and being like, girl, you have not packed. Like what is going on? I have thankfully, luckily found a moving company. They're called Dumbo Movers or Dumbo Moving and they will pack and unpack everything for you. They're fantastic. They're coming. They're going to bring some plastic bins that I basically am going to be renting out and they're going to pack everything for me. One thing I need to do today and tomorrow, I do want to remove some things from my walls and make sure there's not any big holes. I got some like hole filler so that I could patch up any holes so that I can get my security deposit back. That's very important important. Make sure that I, I sweep and it's all good to go so that I do get that security deposit back because that's a lot of money that you don't want to lose. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take off this art. I'm going to do this for a little bit and then I'm going to go to the gym because I need a release. Alexa, play Drake. I 
I just need to figure out how to take out the little drywall anchors I think they're called the little white things that you put before the screw I was like why is it so hard to take them out I really squeezed them in there the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to pack some of my things in some fragile things in my little suitcase I have a little carry-on so I'm going to start packing some things like underwear things that I I'm afraid the movers might break so that when they come they're not here like individually wrapping to tiny little trinkets that I have so let's do that I'm waiting on my super to get a ladder so that I can actually also the sunset is stunning I don't know if you can see it it's like cotton candy skies right now but I'm waiting on my super so that I can get the ladder so that I can take down my curtains but I'm gonna go to the gym I made a little smoothie for the gym because I'm really hungry I don't know why well I guess I ate kind of early Hello, good morning, happy Friday. Wait, today is not Friday. Am I okay? Today is Tuesday. Today's Tuesday? Today's Wednesday. Today's a Wednesday. Anyways, hello. Girl, I'm stressed. But it's okay. It's okay. We spoke to the broker. I spoke to I spoke to the broker this morning and she said we're all good to go. She's going to tell the guy at the front desk to give me the keys so we will be good i need to come up with a plan for this apartment for cleaning it because obviously the movers are coming tomorrow morning from there we're gonna be taking all the stuff to the new apartment obviously and the longer i have the movers the more expensive it technically is i'm pretty sure so i don't think i'd be able to like have the movers come and then clean my apartment after they're out because then they're waiting for me to give to unlock the new apartment this is just me thinking out loud I think I'm going to have the movers come inside and then they're gonna take everything out and then I'll go with them to the new apartment let them in and let them leave all the stuff and then I'm gonna come back here to clean because like I said a sis wants her security deposit back so um, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna come back here to clean <clears throat> to sweep and everything and clean the fridge clean the sinks and clean the bathtub make sure everything is good to go I think we're, we'll be fine everything's gonna be fine but I've also been working today so it's a little chaotic I also got access to my super's lovely ladder because I need to change some things up here like I need to put back the little light that was there before fill some of the holes and I need to take off my curtains because that is definitely coming with me and right now I'm just eating lunch this is my lovely lunch thank god I bought Trader Joe's like microwavable like frozen microwavable things why well, I only really bought one so maybe I should buy more but yeah this is saving my life today because it's like the butter chicken with the jasmine rice and then I just added some veggies on the side this frozen meal from Trader Joe's is bomb it's so good if you see it in Trader Joe's please try it's so good I'm gonna finish work and then I have someone picking up the microwave because my new apartment has a microwave and this apartment did not come with a microwave and I found someone who is willing to come pick it up at five or six today so last night i was so stressed guys i was so stressed i literally like i went to the gym and then i came home and i was just like oh my god i have so many things to do i have so many things i need to finish but today we're good we're fine we're getting the keys we're getting the keys that's all that matters like i'm getting the keys i have a place to live <laughs>
has been made. I removed all of the curtains. I removed my mirror. Oh, I removed my shower curtain. I tried to patch up the holes and I'm really scared that it's not good enough. I have some shelves here and I honestly think I'm just gonna leave them because they were really inexpensive from Amazon. Maybe the new tenant, the future tenant will want them. It's a really stunning day outside and I just didn't even realize because I've been inside all day. I'll wait for the sky to come. I'm gonna do a little bit more work and then go to the gym probably or get some food and then go to the gym. Okay, this vlog is entirely of me looking my best. Fantastic. I put on sunscreen i did a little bit of work so we're all good there i forgot i had actually a load of laundry in my laundromat that i need to pick up because i don't want to have to pick it up tomorrow on move-in day and i don't want to have to go get it another day they close in like 20 minutes and like it's a 10 minute walk we gotta go i think i'm also just gonna go to get some food this is very chaotic energy i'm sorry i'm gonna go get my laundry and then we'll figure out the rest of the day just listening to some bad bunny to get hype for my move tomorrow since we last spoke i picked up my laundry that's all good to go i went to get food at sweet green and now i'm back here it's pretty late it's like 10 o'clock already i think what i'm gonna do before i go to sleep a i'm really full <laughs> So I feel like I can't go to sleep right now because I'm so full. But um, what I want to do right now is I put all my valuable stuff, like my computers, and I'm obviously going to put my camera in the camera bag and put all of that in my like everyday tote so I have it with me because I don't want the movers handling my computers because I'm a little nervous about that. I'm just going to wipe down the areas in the little kitchenette situation. Then I'm going to clean the toilet in the sink. I don't know why, I feel like I'm such a control freak that I just want to do everything myself. I'm like, I feel like they're gonna come tomorrow and I'm gonna be the one putting things in boxes because I'm like, no, let me help you. But I realize I'm paying movers for a reason. Yeah, let's do some final touches for us to feel good. Oh, and if you're wondering again why I'm moving, this is my kitchen. It is literally probably the smallest thing you have ever seen and I have ever seen. Good morning, it's moving day. I am literally standing here eating my overnight oats that I made last night or the night before. Thankfully, I was looking out for myself. I finished my breakfast, I'm a little bit calmer now. The movers, ew, there's a bug. But the movers are here. They are just bringing in the boxes and they're gonna start, there's only two guys, so I'm like, y'all are gonna do everything but last time when i moved in there were only two guys so i guess that's standard that's the situation we did it the apartment is completely empty we're now going to go to the new apartment Let's go. So I just got back to my old apartment and I'm about to give my super the keys and he's gonna do like a walkthrough of the apartment and make sure all is pretty well. I'm just gonna give the fridge one last scrub before he gets here. We're getting that security deposit back. Hello, oh my gosh. It has been like two days since I've turned on the camera. Honestly, moving was crazy. Moving was, I mean, honestly, overall it went really well, but I was moving by myself and I got extremely stressed. I tried to turn on my electricity in this new apartment, but it wasn't able to be turned on in time for me to put my 
things away in the fridge and to have light and so i ended up staying with a friend which was really nice it was actually really nice to stay with someone just having a friend there to chat with and laugh with was so good for my mental health but the good news is that i have moved in okay we did it we moved by ourselves in new york i'm very just I need to be proud of myself. I was really hard on myself thinking like I could have handled everything better. Why do I get so stressed out, blah, 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 blah. But I realize I need to give myself credit. So I'll give you a very chaotic tour of my apartment right now because it's kind of, um, it's kind of a mess. I ordered groceries so that um, I don't have to worry about going all the way to the grocery store while I have to unpack so much stuff. This is the current situation. Okay, so you walk in and this is what you see. It's very chaotic. I have so much stuff everywhere, but this kitchen is just unmatched to my last kitchen. Like this is so much better. I have a dishwasher right there, which is hard to find in New York City. And I'm just so happy and excited to be able to cook real meals i haven't cooked a real meal in like a long time because i didn't have space these are all of the boxes that i have it's insanity and then over there you have the little living room so this is where i was sitting earlier everything is a mess i have half eaten food there oh my gosh i put in my they put in my ac which is awesome it's clutch so i have that there basically the same furniture that i had in my last apartment we have like a little closet here and then here you have more shelving which is amazing i have my shoe rack i have a bigger bathroom even though it's still quite small but it's bigger than my last place which is shocking it came with like a little rod here to put all your your hair care products which is amazing and your body care products and then on the other side here you have the bedroom the bedroom is a complete mess as well but it fit everything which i was shocked it fits my desk i kept one of the wardrobes from my last apartment and then my bed fits here with my nightstand so literally everything fits which is incredible here you have more closet space you have like things uh, that you can hang here and then you have shelving that goes all the way up it's incredible finally have a place to put my <laughs> suitcases which is so nice honestly i'm just so happy that i can walk around like i my last place i always felt like i was disturbing my downstairs neighbor because the floor was so creaky and i had a friend over last night we had some pizza and we had some wine it was so nice it was like a little mini housewarming we were able to talk loudly and laugh loudly and walk around and we didn't have to worry about anyone being disturbed and it was so nice basically all i'm going to be doing the next two days is unpacking and that's what i'm about to do now while i wait for my grocery if you got all the way to the end of this video you are a real one honestly because this video has been chaotic we're okay estamos bien yes if you got to the end of this video thank you so much for hanging out with me for watching this journey of moving by myself in new york city to a better apartment that i've worked so hard for but of course i will see you in my next video love you and see you next time bye